welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Elizabeth, aka Foxgrove, and we make cozy gaming content here on this channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some cozy items that I've recently added to my gaming setup. I just absolutely love to clutter up my space with cute and aesthetic things that just make me feel good. There are gonna be a few practical items included in this little haul for you guys as well, but I really hope that you enjoy it. This is gonna be coming around the same time as Prime Day, so a lot of these items will be available on Amazon Prime and I will link my storefront in the description box for you guys. Anything that I didn't get on Amazon, I will just go ahead and link separately so that you know where to find it in case you would like to purchase it for yourself. But without further ado, let's just get into the first item. The first thing that I want to talk about is this microphone right here. This is the Fafine Ampligame M8 and I was gifted this by the brand Fafine, but my opinions are all my own. They did not pay me to say anything. They didn't even ask me to make this video. I just wanted to mention it to you because it is such a cute little microphone. I absolutely love how small and compact it is. It doesn't take up any space at all on my setup. I love that it's white because eventually I would like to have a white monitor and a white PC setup. So I love that that's going to fit in with that aesthetic once I kind of change over some things there. And then it does have some really wonderful settings. You can change the RGB lights on the back and you can also mute and unmute the microphone by pressing on the top of it, which is a feature that I personally really enjoy. And I feel like it's super, super handy when I'm streaming or making videos, I can just kind of turn it off really, really quickly. I have been using the Blue Yeti, the full-size one, not the Snowball, and I am absolutely blown away at the audio quality of this little microphone versus the Blue Yeti. I don't think I will ever go back to my Blue Yeti after this. I hope you guys have noticed the overall audio I hope you guys have noticed that the overall audio quality in my videos has been so much better since switching to this microphone, so I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this adorable hexagon light kit by Colo Light that's sitting behind me on my PC. This was kindly gifted to me by Colo Light, and they're going to be doing some really amazing deals over on Amazon Prime. I was initially a little skeptical about adding yet another light to my setup because I do just kind of have a lot of lights going on right now, um, so much so that my husband was like the ambient light coming from your office is keeping me up at night elizabeth no more lights <laughs> so he's joking but i do feel like it was well worth adding another light to my setup this one is super customizable you can change the, the shape of the hexagons to suit your needs i'll show you guys a couple of different ways that i can arrange the lighting i love that you can kind of switch it up like that because i am super indecisive and i can never decide how i want things to be i've already changed the format of these lights once since i've gotten them they also um have an app App that hooks up to the light that you can use to fully customize the color and there are a lot of different effects that you can use with the light as well which I really enjoy and it does actually sync up to your music as well so if you're looking for a smart light that can kind of integrate with other devices that you might have in your setup I feel like this one is really awesome and super customizable if you are indecisive about your designs like I am so I highly recommend this one okay this is really challenging to film but the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this hammock that I have for my squishmallows i love this hammock so much it was really inexpensive over on amazon and it actually comes with the lights as well and i went ahead and just filled my corner with my squishmallows and honestly this is the single item in my setup that brings me the most joy i swear i felt like a five-year-old again when i hung this up and put all my squish in it so if you're looking for some serotonin i highly recommend this item because it is just one of the cutest things i think i've added to my setup to date. I do want to talk about one more light that I have in my setup and it is this moon lamp by eColor LED. I have talked about it in a previous video but this lamp is super cozy. It is also really really customizable, syncs with music, works with Google Play and Amazon Alexa and it is just so cute. I've been really pleased with the performance of this light since I've had it and I just think the aesthetic of it is so precious and cute. So if you're looking to add some additional lighting to your setup this lamp would also be a really great option for that. Another cozy option in terms of lighting or just kind of along the same lines as lighting is this LED clock. I love the aesthetics of this clock. I think it's so cute. I've been kind of a little bit of an idiot and struggled to understand how to program it correctly, but especially when it comes to the clock function, but it does come with a manual. I just didn't read the manual and then I threw it away. So I'm sure that this would be fully functional to somebody who is capable of reading directions. Um, I am not that girly. 
but if you are that girly this is the led light for you i think it is super cute i honestly don't even care that the alarm goes off at noon and i don't know how to make it stop because it is just so aesthetically pleasing and I am nothing if not a hoe for aesthetics. So yes, highly recommend this LED clock. Also underneath this clock is the Stardew Valley guidebook. I actually did not get this on Amazon and please, please, please do not get this on Amazon because it is super overpriced. But I purchased this from a website called Fan Gamer and it did take a little while to ship, but it is so worth it. If you are a fan of Stardew Valley and you really want to get into the details of the game, I highly recommend this book. It has helped me so much to figure out how to play and i'm quickly becoming obsessed with stardew valley so i cannot recommend this one enough i just kind of want to give you guys a little flip through of the stardew valley guidebook so you can see just how cute and detailed all of the art is it is seriously so well done and so precious. I just cannot even recommend this enough. It's so fun just to like flip through and read through. I just look at it. Oh my goodness, we stand this book. Another thing that I've recently added to my setup are these little hanging baskets right here for my plants. Ever since I moved into my house, one of the things that I wanted in this house the most was a place to hang my plants from the ceiling because I just want to live in an actual jungle. And I've just always wanted that so, so much. And so I'm so excited that I no longer live in an apartment where I have to worry about destroying the ceilings and I can add a bunch of these in my setup. I also put a, another one over here which is hanging and I just kind of went a little bit ham with the plant themed things over here in my room. I also have this little poster of house plants. I don't think you can get that one on Amazon. I found that at a little local shop but these hanging baskets or macrame things, I don't even really know what they're called. 10 out of 10. Absolutely love them. Highly recommend that you create a little jungle for yourself. It will bring you joy, I promise. The final thing that I want to talk about before we say goodbye today is more of a stationary item, but still a must have for your desk setup. It is this weekly planner by Ashley Does Arts over on Etsy. It is seriously the most adorable weekly planner ever. I just I stand it. It is so freaking cute. I really needed something to plan out my content for the week. Now that I've been streaming three days a week over on Twitch and once over here on YouTube, I feel like it's been a lot more challenging to plan out what I'm doing when, and so I knew I needed something like this. And I have a really hard time sticking to planners because I am a perfectionist. When I write something wrong in my planner, I feel like I just need to throw the whole thing away and it drives me absolutely crazy. I know that that sounds wild, but yeah, I just really struggle with it and I love that I can just tear off each of these is their own little page and I can just tear it off and then I have a fresh kind of post-it note style planner to work with. It just makes my brain so happy. I can't recommend this enough. She did such an amazing job with this, but that is going to take us to the end of this video today. I really hope that this was fun or helpful for you or gave you some inspiration for your own setup. But before we say goodbye today, I do want to thank our channel members. Thank you so much for supporting my work here on this channel. You guys are seriously amazing. You can also support this channel by liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye!